Howdy folks, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Nobunaga's Ambition 2, not 2, what the hell am I talking about? Nobunaga's Ambition uh, Taishi, I don't know how many Nobunaga's Ambition games there have been over the years. Even uh, RTK makes it confusing sometimes. Well no, RTK is actually fairly straightforward. They number them. Nobunaga's Ambition has given us like, Rise to Power, Iron Triangle... Sphere of Influence. I think I've been talking about Rise to Power throughout this LP when the game I played was actually Sphere of Influence. <laughs> That's The names don't really make it obvious which one is which. Ambition. I don't even know if that counts as a main series game or if it's some kind of Nobunaga's Ambition Guide N. Whatever. This is Taishi. Where we're going to go meet Taishi Tsi. Um, had another unintended uh, off-screen play session because I was having I was running like a... I've been having issues with my desktop, and I was running a memcheck application. Uh, and I had the game open, was ready to record my next video, but then I had to reboot, and I decided to run that application, and that took like an hour. And I already had the game open, so I did goof around a little. One little thing I've discovered, I need to... Um, I was a little worried about moving whichever uh, Shimazu brother... Let's look at our quest info. I believe we have this info now. I, he's a Shimazu. I was trying to keep him away from Taka Castle with the thought that putting him there would trigger the event. Uh, it doesn't seem to make a difference. The event triggers whether he's there or not. And uh, when goofing around off screen, I had to struggle to get him there in time to march and not screw anything up. So uh, my, you know, it's like in Samurai Warriors, like trying to win the Battle of Sekigahara using Mitsuhide. And that by win, I mean achieve the objectives to get, you know, to retreat successfully because uh, you, you still lose the battle but you can win the in-game battle by achieving the retreat conditions you're given whatever nonsense uh, so I had a brilliant strategy there okay I'm going to avoid all the mandatory plot missions that are not time sensitive and kill a bunch of not unconnected officers to release the pressure once the plot switches that's a samurai warrior's strat and this game doesn't look like I can just play games and and not set up the trigger conditions uh, to give myself more time to repair. This one, it's like, they don't give a fuck. It's like, oh, you're not ready? Okay, well, we're marching in. And even if you win the battle, you're not going to you're not gonna win the quest because you didn't have um, Dudiak, man. Who is it? It is um, Iehisa. So I have to be honest, like, again, an unfortunate and um, possibly damaging amount of my knowledge of the Sengoku Jedi comes from these games. And particularly the Warriors games, the Samurai Warriors. So, I have a little bit more familiarity with Yoshihiro because he's playable in those games. Um, the Shimazu don't really become a f clan that the uh, Warriors series of games focuses on until later. They, they really are irrelevant. Up until the point where Midi, uh, Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi, Hideyoshi has already taken over all of Western Honshu and most of Central Honshu, and he's already taken out the Mori, and he's moving into uh, Kyushu. Like what? Like the the tale of the Shima, like the starting point for Samurai Warriors and Shimazu being a thing anyone talks about is. They are about to conquer all of Kyushu and the last remnants of the Otomo. We don't even get, never get mentioned by name in that series because they're always talking about the Takibana, who were retainers of the Otomo. Uh, they kind of call for help. and So this this we're playing through a part of uh, history that doesn't show up in the Warriors games, which, as I've said, to my, you know, I'm not proud of this. This is not, this is not a good thing, but the Warriors games is a big source of what I know about this period of history. So... Toshihiro I know about because I'm pretty sure at that point the other Shimazu brothers are all dead because he's portrayed as an old man in that game and uh, I believe it's Yoshihisa's son who is kind of the second Shimazu they bring in and he technically outranks Yoshihiro but Yoshihiro looks to him as a father figure it's actually rather sweet in its way but um, when I'm trying to my, my point of this digression is I'm having a hard time remembering who was who between <clears throat> Yoshihisa, Iehisa, and uh, Toshihisa. But the portraits help, because he really looks like this kind of 
intelligent, hard edged, possibly slightly arrogant. It reminds me a little bit of like the way they try to portray Sal P, which bears little resemblance to Sal P in the novel, who's just kind of an idiot, but not as stupid as um, the next generation was. But uh, Toja, he uh, just seems like generic man to me um, so far. And I gave Yoshi, he said, just a little note of Nobunaga in his delivery just because he seems like the refined, intelligent gentleman. But I don't know that much about him either. But this guy's like hardcore, like, he likes war. He's good at it. Uh, and he likes fighting a, as the underdog because he's good at it. <laughs> and he's rough and he's gruff and he has respect for his opponents. He has respect for an opponent who fights proudly and with honor. But at the end of the day, he's just... He's just kind of a... He's a warrior. I get that. I'm not a warrior. But I... Have some sense of what they're about. Anyway. What the hell am I doing? Get on with the freaking... Uh, let's play. So we've got to... I believe you always have to select the destination first. But now... I don't understand the screen. I'm always finding some way to get trapped. Like, it, the icon doesn't appear where it's supposed to. I don't... I don't think it's my fault, actually. I think it's the game's... I think it's a... Maybe like a minor glitch. Sometimes that icon doesn't show up. If it's not a glitch, it's an easy thing to accidentally do. Here he is. So he's an Uchi. Uchi has plenty of warriors. So I don't need to worry too much about them not being enough there. Uh, but now, oh crap, there was stuff I did last night, and I can't remember if it was before or after I started recording, which is a bit of a nuisance, but um, I am going to do a quick check here. That is the wrong th here info menu is what I want. Had a couple of really unhappy officers, and um, okay, these are... So we still need to find some way to make uh, Nazanero Hato happy because he's a created officer, and I, I want to take care of them because they're really powerful. Um, plot non-essential historical clan officers. I don't want them to be pissed, but I'm not as worried about it. But like, okay, my basics like Grimith is in the green, is the orange instead of red territory. So I did do a few things to. The other one I remember was. Um, if you are now a lord, yeah. Okay. So where is um You are created You're created but you were in orange territory. So it's only these four. And uh unless I'm again yeah, none of them have high enough stats other than this guy. Nazanir Nazanieru, I think, Hato? I'm going to call him Domo Arigato, Mr. Hato. Because I'm an idiot. Um, I think that... I can't remember. Apologies. I, I lose track of which subscriber did which character. If this is the person who did the, the female Hato last time as a change of pace, that might make some sense. I did try to figure out how to get the uh, straight line over the A in Hato, and there was it, I could not figure out a way to get the... PS4 to, to recognize that character or to do it. Um, he's only got one penalty point to his loyalty, but it's enough. So unless he defects fairly soon, he will eventually just have enough time in clan that he gets a bonus for being a longtime officer. And there's a policy that's going to give everybody plus one and will move him into orange territory fairly soon. As a matter of fact... Yeah, everybody else is unhappy. Well, no, not, that's not true. You got one guy here who's, who's unhappy because he doesn't think the same way as his master, but it's only by one again. So he'll get into orange territory if we can get this policy that boosts everybody's loyalty slightly. The other people who are unhappy are the former, um, some of the former Ito officers, and there's not a whole lot I can do about that. And that, you know, if the Ito clan had great officers, they probably would have put up a little bit better fight than they did. They had the Otomo watching their backs, and they still got their butts kicked, so. Screw you guys. Let's double check. Did I do my commerce? Yes. Did I do my agriculture? I do recall that I can't do... It's, it's winter. I'm not planting seeds. So, um... I could try to get ahead of... Did I do that? Again, this is... 
trying to remember what I did last night when I was goofing around after I stopped being allowed to record because I was trying to... Yeah, I did, definitely didn't set this. I was like, my gold income is too high. There must be something I did. I did not get my infantry going in my new frontline cities. Eventually, I'm going to want to back off my infantry production in the cities that are no longer up on the front line. This... I'm going to need to keep an eye on this. We're going to need more infantry. So as the more refugees come in and I have the ability to set that slider higher, I'm going to need to do that. Otherwise, there's not a lot of... Not a lot going on there with uh, infantry. I want pure infantry units because I will eventually get some policy bonuses where, where in, units that are all infantry with no militia mixed in will get some pretty powerful bonuses. Meantime, I'm actually going to cut back a little bit here just to save a little gold. I can get those guys back later. Understood. Kakuto is really well equipped for having a big infantry force, but sorry to say to my current trading allies and guys I just helped rescue from... Uh, that I Well, never mind. Hold on. I'm, I'm thinking ahead. I'm talking about things that weren't recorded, so let me back that off. We'll have a short term. These guys are really going to like us, but then... I think strategically, unless I want to go after Otomo immediately, I'm better off turning on these guys, gobbling them up, maintaining kind of an even perimeter. Having them as allies means I'm safe on that front, but still, eventually I need to take them, so I don't see there's much purpose in waiting. I might as well fold their strength up into my clan before I go after big targets like the Otomo and Raiko, whatever the heck those guys to the far north are called. I mean, it's kind of upsetting to have a, your infantry recruitment not maxed in the city that's going to use infantry, because they, re, the people who are not infantry are refugees who are just who are just consuming food. Your popularity will go down if you don't feed them, but they're not doing anything for you. I only got eight. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. I got to have like. It's going to reduce my harvest very little. If I'm not going to have... Yeah, if I'm not going to have... that, I think that was flashing because they were telling me, you really should have more troops there. Um, if I'm not going to have infantry there, there's no reason to bring the... Uh, They're all farming. They're, it's it's good. They're, they're working. They're they're useful. But if I'm not going to have infantry there, I need to have enough forces that it's worthwhile when they march out. Because, like, the max number of farmers I could set, I'm not even close. The only reason to, like, not be hitting your... that little farm icon, which means that, like... Yeah, you're you're doing enough to harvest to keep the city going. Is if um, you're not going to march? Oh, sorry. The only reason to have more farmers and less militia than you would need to maintain uh, enough food for the city is if you just if it's going to be extremely unusual if you need to march out of that city. In which case, you might as well just be adding to the shared food pile for marching purposes. I, I, the, I think the way it works is that any individual city's popularity is based on whether it's producing enough food locally to feed its people. It's when the it's when the army marches that you get that kind of the collective food your entire clan is producing becomes relevant. So you might as well um, have more farmers than you need in a city um, that is going to be not participating in battle because it's adding to that stockpile that you'll need when other cities go to battle. I'm a little bit concerned about places like am I going to have like low popularity in like Taka? But um the overall the overall harvest must affect something. Like I I am not 100% sure that I understand this properly. But it's time to go ahead and um advance the clock, I think. 
I don't particularly feel the need to spend more on production right or uh, developing new facilities right now. Give my empire a little chance to catch up. To Tozawa were not given that opportunity by the Anto. Everyone, we shall defeat Shimazu's soldier and show this world the power of Deus. O oh Lord, grant us your protection. Amen. This is different. This is happening a little sooner than I expected. Um, I might be losing my mind here. But I feel like there's some stuff that didn't happen to me until I went off screen that you guys didn't get a chance to see. Um, maybe I just need to check something real quick. Because I, I, I'm a little... I don't have a good recall on what I did last night that was recorded and what wasn't. Because none of my commentary was memorable. Yeah, last night I was just uh, I was just taking out the Ito. So an interesting thing that happened to me in my off screening that has not happened yet was that the Otomo. I really I'm kind of I just muted the sound. I'm going through my last video, like the raw footage of what I recorded last night. And I'm stuck in a menu screen where I can't see what I want to be able to see. Yeah. Okay. So a funny thing happened on my way to the forum. Last night when I played, the Otomo didn't attack us first. They attacked our allies because they wanted to take one of their cities. So I don't know if that's still going to happen. But that was the thing that triggered me to have really good relations with that ally. Because um, reinforcing your allies works a little different in this game. They actually take command of some of your troops. You don't get to uh, control the battle. But I loaned them troops. And they actually... Um, they actually took them, used them, because they took infantry. They used them to fight off the Otomo. And then they just had a huge increase in their uh, like for me, because I basically saved them. And then after that, the Otomo attacked me. So this is this is all working out a little bit differently. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I'll feel less guilty about rolling them up if um, they didn't become, like, super happy. Like, at one point, they, they asked to become my vassal. And I had to, like, kind of break off and read and determine... If there's a way to turn vassalage into direct subjugation down the road through diplomacy without war, and there isn't. So I decided I didn't want to take them as a vassal because I intend to eventually just take them over. But anyway, Soren Otomo, he wants to show this world the power of Deus, which was, um, I don't know if that's what the Japanese used to call Jesus or God. And I'm not going to get into, like, the divinity of the Trinity or all that stuff, just that they were definitely using some different old-fashioned terms. Also, we'll join with Otomo. We must stay on our guard. Yeah, they're going to fight against me this time, so fuck them. So I've played through this twice off screen. One time, like I said, it was a Friday night. I was just having, having a few drinks, enjoying the freedom to just goof around and try things that might not have been brilliant ideas. Um, making this not a totally blind play, I guess, but whatever. And then last night, and in both cases, they attacked the Aso. We saved the Aso, and then the Aso allied with us when the Otomo attacked. This is the first time I've played it where the Aso, those assholes. Oh no, not the Aso. Aso are always hostile to us. It's the. Uh... Okay. So what's different is um, the Segura. Okay. Both times I play this off-screen, the Otomo attacked the Segura with the Aso and um, the Sayoinji. But the Sayoinji never actually send any help. They just claim to be part... Of, they're, they're listed as part of the the allied force against uh, the Segura, but they don't actually send troops. It's always just the Aso and the Otomo. So the Aso and the Otomo attacked Segara. And I came in and helped them. And then when the Otomo attacked me, they came in and helped me. Now I've got four clans against me. I don't think it'll make a difference. The threat is always going to be the Otomo. Their little minor clans that help them out are, are pretty minor. But yeah, now I'm going to have no... Like, as soon as this is done, fuck it. Immediately, like, as soon as I get my troop counts back, I'm rolling over the Sagara. Fuck them. They... They were supposed to have an alliance with me and with the Otomo. And they basically... 
it's different. Like they it, they don't owe me anything for having protected them before because that didn't happen. But uh, we had trade agreements, we had positive whatever, and then they're just going to participate in this attack on us. And they also participated in the defense of these territories. I guess they're being consistent. But um, no, fuck them. I I certainly don't care about not rolling over and conquering them now. They're next. Call me Goldberg because those guys are next. So we need to form our units. The main thing we need to do is make sure that um, some of those units are pretty small. So what city are you coming from? Taramizu Castle, okay. I need to look at what cities are marching. Are there any cities that could be providing more troops that are not marching? I don't know how long it would take for troops from Chiron to get there. Because we've only got 800 troops marching out of that city. Yeah, Izumi should be marching, not Chiron. Or uh, whoever's sending 700 troops. Let's instead march out of here, because they got infantry. Serena C, um, for whatever reason, you were not selected. So I'm going to stick with the computer's recommendation. You got better stats than this guy. I guess you're just not adding a tactic that they're interested in. I know, Serena C is going to have plenty plenty to do in this LP uh, as like the, the great leader of our trade empire. So I'm not going to force her participation in this battle. Oh, damn. That's the thing. Okay, I have to confirm that decision before I can come back out and modify it. Okay, but I can still march out of here because I don't have the... Now I got a unit of 600, but that's Iahisa, so he needs to be in the battle. That's just because they attacked me before I had a chance to grow my troops back up there. Toshihisa is probably the same deal. He is Sadawara Castle. So where is Sadawara Castle? Yeah, that's again, it's the neighboring castle. So those units, I'm not going to be able to do much about that. They're small because those cities hadn't rebuilt yet. Um... Hirohisa. I can't march out of there, and I don't remember. I don't think they have infantry anyway. Okay, so this is basically... That's a big, powerful force. That's a lot of troops. They're uh, not infantry, but that's still probably for the best to use them. Um, you guys have got rifles, so you guys are going to be dangerous. Where's Bobo's troop? Bobo not actually in command of a unit this time. He might be a subordinate officer. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, man, I didn't undo everything, did I? I did. Fuck. All right. Undid everything. I did not mean to. Sorry, that was the destination setting screen. Okay. All right, starting over, but we didn't. We should be able to f to fix this pretty quickly. I know that. No, I want to set it for here. And now we get into the form unit screen. Once we're in form unit, I think I can um, take out this little army here, which doesn't have any. Um, 
generals that are required for the battle. Have you guys come out instead? We're always marching with rifles. It's not that often. I guess we have to have specific en uh, generals before they care about cavalry. The main thing now is to make sure that the bloody handed Tempest Advent. So we've got Yoshihiro and Vult Vulture Bobo is subordinate to him. Elmandretta, yeah, like she was. I guess I had a different set of. Um, where guys were, but uh, Uncle Baldo has trumped uh, Elmandretta the Avatar for battle, so I don't generally go against the computer recommendation unless there's something specific that I know is wrong with it. What I'm looking for now is to make sure that Iehisa and Yoshihiro are both and Toshihisa. So the only one that's missing is the fourth bro is the leader, which is a Kind of a weird thing, but yeah. Um, I really wish they had more troops in that unit. Oh, wait. Am I reading this wrong? Oh, now they've got tons of troops. No, it says 600. Yeah, i got to bring it up to at least 900. How do I how do I set it so that they only so that they soldiers are maxed? Although you were at you were giving me like six hundred and got it up to nine hundred, but I don't understand. Is is there any way I can get into the details of whether it's infantry or militia? Because this slider is making it clear. I don't know if 337 militia is my max, but it's making it clear that they're leaving infantry behind and giving you militia. They're not always giving you all the infantry plus however many militia are needed to make up the difference. That's not how they're working it. You are already maxed. You are already maxed. Well, I guess all unit soldiers maxed everything out. So that's a lot of food that we'll be going through. We can only afford to be out there for six months. But I think not only can we get this done in six months, but we might be able to do a little bit more. We are heading to Taka Castle. Next time, folks, we're going to have our uh, next big plot fight, and it's uh, against the Otomo again. Last time, it was technically the Ito, <laughs> but everybody knew that the Otomo were the real power and the real threat. This time, it's us against the Otomo and their little piddling allies, one of whom is going to pay very dearly for this in the short term, one of whom will pay very dearly for this in the medium term, and one of whom we won't be able to get around to attacking for a while, but they're also the ones who are not really going to do very much in this battle. So yeah, tune in next time for actual to God, honest to God combat instead of dicking around with bu building, um, you know, fishing villages. See you then.